The Royal Society, in collaboration with the British Science Association, has produced a series of Crest resources to demonstrate what machine learning is, how does machine learning impact our daily lives, and how can it be utilised in the future. One of these resources is the Crest Discovery Day. And in this video, we'll look at what you, as a teacher, need to know to run this one-day project. During the Discovery Day, children are supported in their teams throughout each stage of a science project, from identifying the problem, from researching different solutions, to testing ideas and communicating their findings. This is a great way to introduce project work and develop the skills students need to lead their own project. Today is a discovery day, so it's for the children, it's looking at machine learning. The day itself consists of an introduction, then a series of three workshops. Workshop one looks at what do they think machines should be able to do, so what are the things that they think it's alright for machine learning to be involved in and which things do they not think so. And the second workshop looks at some examples, so for example Netflix, so looking at how does that make choices and getting them to start to think about the process that's behind that. The third workshop is playing with some of the machine learning tools that are being developed at the moment. That kind of gives them a core understanding and then the idea really from there is for them to work in a team and to come up with a machine learning tool. They should all have experience of computing, so they should all have experience of what algorithms are. They'll have a little bit of an idea, therefore, about inputs and outputs. It will vary from child to child exactly what they understand. Now, how does face recognition work, Ariane? I drive this car. Do we think that is a form of machine learning? I certainly think it'd be suitable for year five upwards and into secondary school, I would say. I think the Discovery Day works for all children. Um, they can all access it at different levels, that's the nice thing about it. I would say not just for your gifted and talented, and not just children that are interested in computing, because it will affect all of their lives. Now, how would it be able to recommend things that I like? Why is that machine learning? The resources that are available, you've got some teacher notes, pupil resources, there's a PowerPoint. I think for some teachers it's a bit of a scary area, but actually it's all there and as long as you've had a look at it all beforehand and played with some of the games that are online, it's very doable. You need access to laptops, headphones is probably a good idea. Other than that, you're just going to need your kind of basic paper, card, colouring pencils, felt tips. We had some lovely products which showed imagination. Most children, if not all children, had a reasonable understanding by the end of the day about some of the concepts behind machine learning. But the idea that a computer can learn to do something for itself was a new concept for most of them. At different levels, that's what they took away. This is what's happening now, and it's certainly what the future is. I hope this short video has given you a taste of what Machines of the Future is all about. And if you want more information about machine learning resources from the Royal Society, please contact the school's engagement team at education at royalsociety.org.